Alright, so we're going to show you how to do the saddle bunker base, also known as the side saddle bunker base. This is excellent for um, getting started. Uh, so this is an excellent solo starter, or you can even live out of this bad boy and beef it up a little bit. But it's super cheap. It is a bunker base, and it helps out for, uh, like, immediately for the wipe. Like, you can start off as a 1x2, and then get this thing flushed out to a full-fledged bunker base with zero BPs. We're talking nothing. And with this wood out here, this makes it look quite uh, low tier. So nobody's really going to mess with this in most cases. So let's go ahead and pop in real fast. Show you how this works. And again, if you're solo, you can use those wooden locks. Here's the drop down for the chute. And uh, as you, as with any bunker base, you would spawn on the interior on your sleeping bag and knock out this twig. It opens up this compartment here, and then you have access to the interior of the base with um, shelving. You have a, a loot room here, three furnaces, a workbench, and then two sleeping bags. You can take out two more furnaces and then add a third sleeping bag if you really need to. But this is great for starting all kinds of bases like the silo water base that we have out here and also the bilge water base. Um, more so for the silo, just because it's so beefy. Wait, where, okay, there it is. <laughs> Mostly because the silo, because it's so beefy and it requires so many materials uh, off the rip. But either way, um, having that uh, bunker can be anywhere. It can be on the shoreline. It's it's a great flank base. It's a great farming base. Uh, you can use it for many different things. It's the one we pretty much start with all the time. We have them all over the map. <coughs> so let's go ahead and get into the build portion. Oh yeah, let's show you the the upkeep. My bad. Upkeep is 479 wood, which is a tree, 801 stone, that's one stone node, and 47 metal fragments, which you can easily just recycle. You don't even necessarily need to process any materials. And again, to seal up this bunker, um, flip this to the soft sides in, then place a floor tile, and then upgrade it with stone, and then place your tools back in your box here. So you have like a little bit of stone, a little bit of wood, and then your building plans and your hammer, and you're good to go. <coughs> and then right here, uh, these wood sections, um, kind of, again, give you the illusion it's, um, what do we call it, poor people camo for rust. Uh, but also it gives you the single pass through airlock so nobody can go deep once your bunker is open. And uh, these wooden doors kind of bait people into flame raiding you. And then they run into this metal door. And then if they do spend explosives and they get down here and go, well, we don't have that kind of money. And then they leave you alone. Again, this can be expanded many different ways. This more or less is for another spawn point and a fridge. Uh, if you want to start to um, stone these out here, you totally can. You can add more honeycomb on the outside here uh, if you want to protect uh, this section as well. But um, this is probably the cheapest way. This is how we start every wipe. And, uh, yeah, you can pretty much sign up with this with confidence and know that most people are going to go, mm, probably not. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do the build. And, again, I like this so much because I can start with, like, 5K stone and, like, you know, 3K wood, like, with ease. So right away, I just find a flat area, start with two foundations. <coughs> Assuming that you're going to be under fire on your first day, I immediately place uh, the frame. I start with a wooden door. <coughs> Where's my wooden door? It's a wooden double door. I have it open outward, and then I lock immediately. I, I don't even stick the roof on, just because if somebody takes this, at least you own the door, and then you can kind of calm yourself a little bit, and then you can place your tool cupboard. And then place it uh, with the knobs out, back, and then uh, strafing over because you want to make sure you have shelves for this. And then lock this and then place some of your materials on the interior here. And then you can breathe a little bit. <coughs> and then you can go down here. And then you can place your ceiling tiles. But really, I like to do the next section here. I like to throw up wood. I like to make this wood. Um, and it, it's important you keep that as wood because then you're going to hack it out later when you can afford it. Again, assuming that you're starting off with the barest of materials, which I typically do. Let's get that garage door out of here. We're not rich. Place your lock here. And then when you have a sleeping bag, go ahead and craft it and then try to place it um, off of the sockets here and then call it like inside. Very important you place this because once the bunker mechanism is in, you will need this. That way when this door opens, it creates um, a place where you can shoot, but they can't walk through and rush you. So it's kind of a temporary airlock. It's your best friend. And then when you can afford it, go ahead and place the ceiling. If you don't have enough stone, you can make this wood, but just remember that kind of cuts into your bottom line. <coughs> then you can place smaller boxes on the interior here, if you so desire. And then hopefully by now you're cooking up enough um, low-grade or fishing enough low-grade so you can start to make your first furnace. Uh, however you want to do that. But um, out here, I do like to place this so we have the shelving on the interior. I mean, all in all, you can start just this section pretty easily with, um, you know, within like the first hour. 
And I like to place this here. And again, assuming that you're going to operate out of this on the cheap, I'm going to go out here and just knock these out. I like to make my first furnace because we don't even have the bunker mechanism set up yet. And then I like to place it back here. And then as soon as you can afford the large boxes, which are where in my list here? They're there. Place one back here. You can set up the loot room pretty much any way you want. Um, you can kind of have this one like this if you want to, and then you're going to rearrange it. I like to climb up here and then place this, but I don't typically have this many boxes to start with. It's usually uh, small wooden boxes or nothing. And then you want to start to slow it. Can I even place this when I'm like clipping through something? Hold on. All right. The placement isn't that critical. It's just however you want to set up your cabinet. But I do like to keep the furnace here. That way you've got this door cooking. Now, assuming that that furnace is going, eventually you will be able to afford a double door, which I would put in place as, oh man, i put in place as quickly as possible. You might have to pick that box up and then replace it, depending. Uh, you want to make that back box accessible if, uh, whenever possible. And then, um, when you can afford it, uh, going out there farming some stone, you can come out here and make the bunker mechanism. So you're going to elevate these two triangles, which is going to make your first part. Uh, another reason why you want to get enough stone is because um, it costs a lot. Half walls cost the same as normal walls. So you'll have this here. And you've got to make that stone as soon as possible. This is going to be your jump up here. Let me go ahead and pull back a little bit so you guys can see. <coughs> Where I'm standing is going to be the entrance uh, to the top level that goes down. And then we're going to have two triangle tiles on top. Pretty easy. And then I like to make this whole uh, shaft area stone. And then everything else is going to kind of be like a uh, hit or miss wood section. Just you don't want anybody to kind of circumvent the raid. You want them to start lead them in and then get them to spend a little bit of cheese and then go, oh, I don't have that kind of money. Initially, this will probably be wood, but and when you can afford it, go ahead and make it metal. And I craft, or I take that small wooden box we did have in here, and then I move it up to this section. And then this is going to be where you place your uh, extra stone and wood. <coughs> if you go out for farming or you hit cargo ship, because cargo ship's about 50 minutes, um, you probably want to seal up your bunker. That's usually a good rule. And then I try to get this up as quickly as possible. If you can afford the stone version of this, sweet. I kind of like this as wood because then you have the option to hack down the walls and change it to roller boys if you want to later. It's, this is all about expansion and just keeping it really low key. There you go. Um, but the door is configured like this. They can't rush you. Uh, it keeps the illusion that you're, that you're broke. And then this will last you for quite some time. I would come out here and make a triangle low and then make a half wall and make these only wood. This becomes your jump up. And then that way, if you want to move these, again, you can soft side on this side and you can soft side top down on the foundation with a machete or with a sword if you have it. That way you can kind of do this jump up. Oh, watch. Now that I'm under pressure, I probably won't be able to do it. There we go. <coughs> Boom. And again, once you can afford this, you're going to break down this wall here with a machete or with a sword. And then when you've got that good to go, you're going to half wall it, soft wall facing you, soft wall here, upgrade the top, and then remove this portion. And then you've got your little mechanism. I do like to sometimes leave this wood or even twig, but you can make that stone. Um, I'm always trying to save a buck or two whenever I'm doing this. Let's say you stole yourself or crafted a level two. You're rich. You can place that there, and then you can place another furnace back here, or the furnace you have back in the compartment. You can start to shuffle this around a bit and add more boxes if you want to. Heck, you can even add your boy's sleeping bag over here. Add a box under here, that kind of stuff. You know, just kind of start collecting things. We'll go ahead and lock this up. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. It's upside out. Floor tile here. Then upgrade it, then put your tools back in the box. You're good to go. And then what I like to do before I sign out, I do like to make honeycomb because this whole section right here, the one I'm standing on, is the TC. So you want to add some type of honeycomb here. Um, usually, because I'm broke, I uh, can only afford the wooden version of this. So I just start with the triangles on the outside. Uh, I upgrade them to wood. If you can do stone, then by all means. But just remember, you got to not only do the upgrade, but you got to pay for the upkeep. And then uh, I'll flip this, like this, and kind of just make these wood. But if wood is really scarce for you in your location, whoopsie, 
I can understand just wanting to go stone, but again, it's entirely up to you. Gotta play it by ear, but I do like to put some type of honeycomb here. That way it really kind of conceals what you're doing. And make sure you cover these up with, <laughs> with wooden caps. And so check this out. Did we make a ceiling here? Okay, so I did make these stone. Um, I think it's important for the top downs, uh, so people don't circumvent the raid, but also it kind of gives you stability. So if somebody starts to burn things out, they can't necessarily burn out all the stability. And again, if you're if you're really scarce on stone, um, just make these wood. Not a big deal, right? Because then you'll put your other sleeping bag up here, maybe a refrigerator, your fishing gear, whatever you want. I do like to make that stone, and I do like to make this cap stone as well. And then I even use the double door we had from downstairs as a double door right here. So just have it open. That way you can make some additions here when you want to later. You can sign out. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Just remember, when you open this door, you're exposed to the elements. <laughs> like, you're just going to get dropped. Well, and then you can put, like, a fridge or whatever you want over here and just call this, like, top. Top. There you go. That's the old side saddle. The saddle bunker base, we use this all the time for starters. Heck, you've even seen us beef this out recently uh, into an actual uh, flank base and it like a really armored out uh, bunker base. And as long as you're spreading your loot and you have the cost down, these are quite effective. Great farming bases, uh, great bases to have on the shoreline, uh, supporting bases, or even just to get started. I mean, heck, we you've seen us do this as a starter base for the bilge. How many times now? Many, many, many times. So there you go.